See this? These are Google text-to-speech files. All 218 of them. Yeah. So, as you've just witnessed, I was working very hard over the past few weeks. All because of a video that unfortunately got very overlooked. But what's so special about this video? It's just a Portal Credits song with a failed clickbait? Well, here's the catch. The voice singing there is none other than Google Text to Speech. An artificial voice. I'll start with a backstory. So I'm playing Portal with Mrokat. Just chilling after work like every other day. After completing both games while listening to the credits song, my girlfriend asked me, hey, maybe you should make your own Portal song on YouTube. I replied, hmm, cool idea. You pretty much don't even have to sing to make a song like that. And at this moment, the time has stopped. Millions of ideas kept rushing into my head and one of them has set me a new challenge. To make a song that sang by an artificial voice. I remember that there was a software called Ivona. It was wildly used in the early days of YouTube to make some mock translations of popular media like Winnie the Pooh, Lord of the Rings, Pat and Matt and many others. But this program wasn't free and I didn't want to spend any unnecessary money on an experiment. So I found Google Text to Speech. Oh, hello, I'm Ellen McLean. This voice sounds the closest to Ellen McLean. Oh, hello, I'm Ellen McLean. So how to export these files? There's no download button here. Just bear with me. You enter the Google Text to Speech page. Select Voice E, pitch and tempo to whatever suits you. Then press F12 and go to Network tab. Play the words and look to your right. You will see new rows of commands. You go to the one that starts with proxy. Then you will see a long line of text here. You have to copy the whole thing and paste it in a base64 converter. Then you will have an mp3. Now to all you sound purists out there, please close your eyes and ears for the next 10 seconds of the video. You take the mp3 file and convert it to a WAV file, because Cubase doesn't want to read these mp3 files. And now you've got the file of spoken words. Hello there. Great, but that's still far from singing. So now you grab Melodyne and we analyze it. Then select all and press the right mouse button. Choose the pitch modulation settings and click two times. Select all once again and double click. This will tune it perfectly. Then we go to the format settings and we set it to around 100 cents. And voila, we have GLaDOS. Hello there. But that's only a voice, still no singing. So now comes the hardest part, writing a song. I had a cool riff recorded on my phone. Something like that. And the melody that came with it. It was recorded around 2019 and I've always wanted to use it in a song. So with that said, let's start with setting up some vocals. But wait, I had to write some lyrics because you need to sing something, right? So I started with all the tests we've done and the days we spent. A good nostalgic line that pretty much sums up our portal experience. Also take note that all the words here are one syllable. That's because it was very hard to sing longer words. It was possible, as you can hear in the song, but it was very trial and error. So you take these words, do the Melodyne thing, write the melody and you have a 50% chance that everything will sound like crap. So here comes the part where you stretch out words, export other versions, or if everything doesn't work, write some new lyrics. Most of the time the last one was pretty much the only way. Like I had an idea for the chorus, I just know that you care hidden in your inner shell. You know, like the inner shell electrons. But it was impossible to sing, it started glitching out and it just sounded cursed. So the steps are 1. Write some lyrics 2. Paste them to Google Text to Speech 3. Convert it to a WAV file 4. Cut it to match the rhythm 5. Analyze it with Melodyne 6. Write a melody 7. Hear that none of it sounds right 8. Paste three words at a time 9. Repeat steps from 4 to 6 10. If step 7 happens, go to step 8 but write single words. 11. 
Repeat step 9, 12. If step 7 happens again, change the lyrics and start from step 1. All the tests we've done and the days we spent Being friends and foes then friends again That's pretty much it. Sometimes a line of text took me more than an hour. It was hell. Then we get to the chorus. I wanted it to sound more cheerful, so I've changed the chords to F, C, D minor, flat, and wrote a simple melody on it. Then you have to once again go from step one and see how it works out. After a whole week of pure torture, the vocals were finally finished. Now came my favorite thing, which is arranging the song to fit the portal aesthetics. As far as I can remember, there was some guitar, some bass, some drums, some keys in the background. You know, typical band stuff. It was pretty simple, it took me one or two days to finish it. Then the mixing, which was four to six hours. And finally came to the video with the ASCEE art. So as you can clearly see, with some hard work and dedication, we can actually make a synthesized voice sing like a human being. And the funny part is that it doesn't even sound that bad compared to Eiffel 65 or some mumble rap with autotune on it. But I think that the song poses a greater question, a philosophical one, I might add. Is it possible that in a few years an AI will be able to write, sing and produce their own songs? An advanced program can go through all these steps in mere seconds. Maybe we will have artificial celebrities singing their catchy songs in a synthesized voice. Who knows, but as we can clearly see, it can be possible even using some basic tools. I would really love to hear your opinion on this topic in the comments below. It's very fascinating for me, that's why I've made this video. Also I highly encourage you to go listen to the video once again and maybe confront it with some new facts that you've just witnessed. And as for now, see you on the next video.